A very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the live class. I will be discussing the ailing planet, the green movement's role. I will be continuing from the place where I left or from the paragraph where I left. So uh, I am now sharing the screen. Kindly make sure you all can see the screen properly. Yes. Uh, is it visible to both of you? Can you both of you see it properly? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay, fine. Yes, so let us move on then. So I was uh, actually, uh, can any one of you say from which uh, part will I be discussing today in this class? Have I completed page number 45 or will I start from page number 45? or uh, this part is done regarding Lester Brown this part is over this part has been done or is it left can any one of you give me a feedback regarding that yes sir can you explain for miss Mr. Lester that one okay 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 that. okay fine thank you yes thank you for your feedback definitely I will be continuing from here then so uh, according to Mr. Lester Brown now he has written a book remember the name of the book is very important for your multiple choice question okay the global economic prospect okay so it was a very thoughtful book now in that particular book he divided the arts principal biological systems into four categories now what are the what are those four categories number one is fisheries number two is forest number three is grasslands and number four is croplands these are according to him as far as his book is concerned these are the four principal biological systems fisheries forest grasslands and croplands and they form the foundation of the global economic system now uh, in addition to supplying our food these four systems provide virtually all the raw materials now apart from uh, supplying us with food resources uh, the systems the four systems mentioned above fisheries forest grasslands and croplands they actually uh, provide all the raw materials for industry now except uh, minerals and petroleum related products so except minerals and petroleum related products apart from these two they provide virtually all the raw materials uh, now they means i am talking about fisheries forests grasslands and croplands apart from supplying food also now in areas in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level now can any one of you give any uh, such feedback what exactly the meaning of this line human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level can any one of you uh, tell me what exactly so does it mean yes could you please say once again so humans are trying to dominate over nature very good humans are trying to dominate over nature they are using the natural resources exceedingly okay they are using the natural resources sometimes crossing the limit yes and that particular uh, state is referred as unsustainable level and uh, when this thing happens the productivity gets impaired okay that is something very very important so i am repeating this you are absolutely right see in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level a point where their productivity is being impaired impaired or you can say their productivity gets hampered gets collapsed also when this happens fisheries collapse when this means when the st uh, stage or the level that is related with unsustainable level when this stage happens what exactly happens fisheries they collapse okay forest they disappear 
grasslands they become rugged wastelands okay barren means something that is rugged barren wastelands and croplands what about the croplands the croplands they deteriorate okay in a protein conscious and protein hungry world overfishing is common every day so we live in a protein conscious and protein hungry world and in a protein conscious and protein hungry world overfishing is common every day in poor countries local forests are being decimated dear students what is the meaning of the term decimated i told yesterday can any one of you say what exactly the meaning of the term decimated is local forests are being decimated what does it means or what does it refers to local forests are being decimated in order to procure firewood for cooking can any one of you say what exactly is the meaning of this line let us interact and let us get to know your feedback also okay your point of view regarding this in poor countries local forests are being decimated in order to procure firewood for cooking what exactly this line means devanoy can you say what exactly this so line means trees are cut for fuel trees are cut for fuel ha yes trees are cut obviously in order to get firewood for cooking absolutely right so decimated so can we say deforestation yes definitely definitely you can definitely say deforestation large areas of deforestation now that is hampering the biodiversity very good absolutely right so yes definitely we can say it is it is an example or rather to say dear students this is an instance of deforestation definitely you can say deforestation very good in poor countries local forests are being decimated in order to procure firewood for cooking procure means in order to bring or in order to get rather in some places firewood has become so precious that what goes under the pot now cost more than what goes inside it very very important line important line for your exam okay very important line because if you uh, see cbsc related papers question papers you will find that this line was given many times okay in the exam whether it is uh, related with multiple choice questions whether it is related with subjective or objective questions this line has been mentioned many a times what goes under the pot now cost more than what goes inside it that means uh, the cooking ingredients that we are using okay in comparison to that okay the things that we are using to cook those things are much more costlier that means the uh, cooking ingredients are much more costlier than the cooked items i hope i made myself very clear the cooking ing ingredients that you are using for cooking okay those are much more expensive than the cooked items that means what goes under the pot okay that is the cooking ingredients they are much more costly then what goes inside it then the cooked items the items that you are cooking okay now see since the tropical forest is in the words of dr myers the powerhouse of evolution so according to dr myers the tropical forest can be termed as the powerhouse of evolution several species of life face extinction as a result of its destruction several species now those species whose habitat depends on tropical forest now as one of you told very correctly this is an instance of deforestation ultimately if deforestation takes place in large numbers then ultimately uh, uh, i mean spanning large areas of land then ultimately there are many species many creatures many animals whose habitat whose existence depends on the tropical forest okay i hope there is someone on the line please hold on let me allow yes i guess shubhayun roy choudhury joined us right good morning now. sir yes good morning welcome to the live class i am discussing ailing planet i hope the screen is visible to you shubhayun okay 
so yes sir okay so let us move on then so according to dr myers he told that the tropical forest is actually the powerhouse of evolution now there are many creatures okay many animals are there whose existence whose sole existence depends on the tropical forest now if tropical forest are being decimated in large numbers ultimately it will pose a threat to their existence and ultimately what will happen it will affect the uh, uh, environmental base it will affect the biodiversity so these things we have to keep in mind so now i am moving once again to the note section and uh, i am just discussing this part once again uh, the one i started with the text today uh, at the very beginning i discussed about the four principal biological systems okay that was been written by lester brown in his book the global economic system or we can say the global economic project okay now he divided the in his book in his famous book he divided the biological system into four categories what are those fisheries grasslands forest and croplands now remember they are very much interrelated to one another and if we overuse if it crosses uh, if it reaches unsustainable level then obviously there will be a big problem for us okay why because it will create a big problem in the world of nature okay what sort of a problem we will uh, read right now though i had already discussed from the ncrt text also this virtually consists of all the raw materials of industries at present a non sustainable utilization of these resources is occurring these four systems also provide food and raw materials for industries except minerals and synthesis as i referred earlier today that uh, those four principal biological systems they provide us food and other raw materials except minerals and petroleum derived products except minerals and petroleum derived synthesis those four principal biological systems like fisheries forest crop uh, um, croplands and grasslands they provide food and raw materials okay that are needed for industries except remember minerals and petroleum related products are not been uh, i mean we we don't get those things from uh, those four principal biological systems apart from that we get the rest of the other things with these systems becoming unsustainable fisheries will collapse the forest will slowly disappear grasslands will turn into barren wasteland and croplands will become wards now this is something very very important fisheries will collapse okay the forest will slowly disappear then grasslands will turn into rugged wastelands and what will happen to the croplands the croplands will deteriorate so if uh, it reaches unsustainable level it will provide harm to us and obviously uh, the four principal biological systems uh, it will uh, deteriorate or rather to say there will be some negative changes that will happen and obviously the biodiversity will be hampered the environmental base will be hampered because and remember all the four principal biological systems are very much interrelated with one another the forest will slowly disappear grasslands what will happen to the grasslands the grasslands will turn into barren wastelands and croplands will also become wards okay so it is high time that we should actually protect our environment and we should not use it to an unsustainable level because if we use it to an unsustainable level ultimately it will be problem for us okay and also for our existence because as i told you all earlier that we have to think about the future generation also as such isn't it now uh, let me move on to this part let me discuss the forest destroyed by mankind this particular uh, uh, portion and then let me discuss the menace of overpopulation now after discussing from this note section once again i will be moving on to the text for your convenience okay so see what is written the writer is also concerned about 
द लेसनिंग ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट लैंड द डॉग इज बींग बॉन्ड एज फुएल दस डिप्राइविंग द सॉयल ऑफ नैचुरल फर्टिलइर इन पुअर कंट्रीज फॉरेस्ट आर बींग कट डाउन फॉर फुएल उड एंड ऑबियसली नानी पालखीवाला हैड रिटर्न इन दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल दैट देयर विल बी अ डिमांड फॉर फुएल उड इन द नियर फ्यूचर ओके एंड इट वॉज ट्रू बिकॉज फुएल उड पर्टिकुलरली इन द पुअर आर कंट्रीज फुएल उड इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कुकिंग पर्पज ओके देर आर सम एरियाज वैट द कॉस्ट ऑफ फुएल उड इज मोर दैन द कॉस्ट ऑफ फूड दैट इज द रीजन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड एंड इट इज रिटर्न दैट वाट गोज इन साइड द पॉट इज मच मोर कॉस्टलियर देन ऑबियसली वाट एग्जैक्टली आर द कुक आइटम्स ओके दैट इज समथिंग वी हैव टू कीप इन माइंड द कुकिंग इनग्रेडियंट्स आर मच मोर कॉस्टलियर दैन द कुक आइटम्स दैट इज हैपनिंग देर आर सम एरियाज वैट द कॉस्ट ऑफ वेल उड इज मोर देन द कॉस्ट ऑफ फूड दिस इज लीडिंग टू डिफॉरेस्टेशन एट एन अलार्मिंग रेट ऑबियसली वाट इज हैपनिंग डिफॉरेस्टेशन इज हैपनिंग and according to dr myers as already i referred at the very beginning of my class okay as i referred that according to him uh, uh, the tropical forest is actually the power house of evolution and as i told that many uh, species they depend on for their habitat on tropical forest now if tropical forest gets decimated in large numbers okay ultimately uh, their survival will be a big threat so we have to take care of the natural species also we have to take care of ourselves and also at the same time we have to take care of the entire environment also because many of the wild creatures many of the, the living species they depend on the tropical forest now if we go on decimating the tropical forest in large numbers then what will happen to them understood is it clear up to this is there any doubt at the back of your mind any questions anyone you can ask me okay, okay fine so let us move on then uh, article 48a is also very important from the point of view of your examination okay so let us read this and uh, uh, after i explain this i will be coming back to the text once again see it is written article 48a of the constitution was highlighted by the writer or by the author nani palkiwala which states that the state should guard guard means should protect and improve improve what improve the forest and the wildlife as well so the state should guard and obviously the state should improve the forest and also the wildlife as well but the law is not imposed appropriately see in constitution many things are been written but sadly and unfortunately in our country those things are never uh, i mean ethically implemented those things are implemented but not to a great extent okay there are many uh, many places where uh, i mean the laws been uh, mentioned in the constitution is not followed properly at all then the writer refers to a parliamentary committee report which says that the decline of forest is at the rate of 3.7 million acres every year now if you google right now or later you will find that it is uh, the the digit or the number will alter but we will be remembering this one only why because it is written way back in 1994 and since in your text it is given obviously if you google right now the decline of the forest the rate will be more than 3.7 okay because this was written way back in 1994 but we will go by the text and uh, for the examination purpose we will be uh, memorizing this 3.7 million acres only okay and united nations okay united nations made a survey worldwide okay aerial for uh, satellite images are been taken okay aerial survey was also been done by the un or rather to say the united nations and obviously 88 countries were under the scanner i repeat 88 countries were under the scanner okay and obviously in the report uh, mention of those 88 countries were made and uh, the condition of those 88 countries the environment condition in those 88 countries are critical okay our country is also in the list now obviously overpopulation plays a big factor 
in related with environmental pollution because over population ultimately give rise to poverty okay ultimately give rise to unemployment and uh, obviously there is a uh, i mean what i mean uh, there is obviously uh, increase in uh, i mean increase in population uh, ultimately increase in pollution level so ultimately when there is an increase in pollution level the environmental base or rather to say the environment deteriorates so everyone is interrelated to one another i hope you can understand interrelated okay see one of the reasons for the exploitation of the environment is the increasing population it is observed that about 1 million population is increasing in every 4 days okay now that was the calculation been made by the author and obviously he did a lot of research finally to come to a conclusion like this 1 million population is increasing in every 4 days now this is not a good sign this is not at all a good sign there is an urgent need to control population in the world yes over population now obviously we all have to be very much concerned about it because we you are all the future generation okay so you all have to be very concerned about it because ultimately education employment and development all these three factors if we pay maximum attention to education employment and development ultimately and if we control this menace of over population then ultimately pollution level will also be less okay and ultimately the environmental issues the environmental degradation the many fold other environmental issues will be controlled properly so ultimately development can be cited as the best contraceptive okay so see it is written there is an urgent need to control over population in the world population and poverty are directly proportional to each other development is the best contraceptive for this problem okay this is a very important line in your text also it is given so when i will be discussing the text kindly please underline okay development is the best contraceptive for this problem as it will help in reduction in fertility increase in education income and improvement in health now this is something very important if there is development obviously the birth control rate will be checked properly okay and obviously education will increase ultimately income income will increase people will be educated that means ultimately there will be improvement in health okay not only there will be improvement in health but there will be improvement in education also side by side the income will also be healthy okay income will also rise and obviously birth control rate okay the birth rate can also be controlled okay so this should be done so ultimately what is the factor that ultimately can uh, change uh, this uh, what's case scenario obviously development development is the best contraceptive okay now let me move on to uh, this particular part era of responsibility see we must see the world as a whole and not as dissociated parts yes we have to see the world as a whole we should not consider it fragmented dissociated means we should not consider it fragmented the problems uh, of the world is related with the entire world it is not selected to a particular part of the world we should not consider it fragmented we should consider it as a whole it is a holistic and ecological view according to lester brown we have not inherited the earth from our forefathers but we have borrowed it from our future generations yes this is something very very important and that is what lester brown the person who has written that famous book the global economic prospect he has mentioned it that we have not inherited the earth from our ancestors forefathers means ancestors but we have borrowed it from our future generations 
the writer at this point once again repeats the positive change in view of the people regarding ecology now obviously people are getting worried that it is high time we have to save the environment as i told you all earlier now obviously people are now much more positive regarding environment regarding ecology industries must also take responsibility for a better ecosystem obviously industries okay must also take responsibility okay for a better ecosystem industry also plays a very important role and industries must also take responsibility for creating a better ecosystem to conclude the situation of this planet is in a critical condition and now we must do our best to save it that is the reason dear students there lies the significance of the title what is the title ailing planet because the condition of the planet is in a very critical condition and we must do our best okay in order to save it it is high time that we should do our best in order to save it okay now i am moving on to the text just a minute yes now let us come to the text see uh, let me uh, continue from here it has been well said that forests precede mankind deserts follow after that and obviously tropical forest is now eroding please underline i told you i will be discussing the important portions from the text since i did this part i am discussing this tropical forest is now eroding at the rate of 40 to 50 million acres a year okay and obviously what should be done according to the world bank they made a sort of an estimate that this problem can be uh, uh, can be restored or this problem can be tackled if there is a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting if there is a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting then obviously this problem can be tackled okay now james peth as i told you he was the president of the world resources institute according to him we are not losing a forest area to an acre a second but we are losing a forest area to an acre and a half a second that means per second we are losing a, an area a forest area that is an acre and a half we are losing it per second okay now article 48a of the constitution provides that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country now that is already been given in the constitution but the thing is that how many times it is getting implemented it is written that environmental resources has to be protected and safeguard the wildlife of the country also has to be protected and safeguard but what causes endless anguish is the fact that laws are never respected nor enforced in india this is what i told you already that laws are never respected nor enforced in our country if laws would have been respected and enforced properly then casteism untouchability bonded labor would have been abolished but these things are going on even after so many years of the successful implementation of our constitution these things are still going on and obviously as i told you in the note it is written here we are losing our forest at the rate of 3.7 million acres a year okay you have to memorize this one and obviously uh, it is uh, it is happening that large areas which we termed as forest land forest reserve when we enter those places we find to our biggest surprise that those places are virtually treeless okay now the actual loss of forest is estimated to be eight times the rate indicated by the government statistics so actual loss of forest is eight times the rate okay indicated by the government statistics it is much more eight times more than the rate that was given by the government and as i told you united nations made uh, i mean a thorough research using satellite images okay using aerial photography and they came to the conclusion that uh, uh, that 88 countries okay in 88 countries the environment condition is very very critical 
okay they made a thorough investigation they uh, they had taken aerial photography many satellite images and informations also they got and see what they came to the conclusion they wants that the environment has deteriorated so badly that it is critical in many of the 88 countries investigated it is critical okay and our country as i told you is also within this okay so it's already time i stop here dear students uh, again i will be continuing from the next paragraph stay well everyone and have a nice day thank you everyone thank you thank you dear students thank you